Raptors, who lead by six, continue to get strong play from Antonio Davis. As you be mentioned, he sprained the tricep muscle last weekend, was very doubtful for the game the other day. But tonight, he has played 29 minutes, has played very effective with 12 points and eight rebounds. The past two days, he has been working with this machine. It's called Low Energy Laser Therapy. What happens is these cells are put around the arm, and the cells in your arm then absorb the light and the lead therapy. It's a revolutionary machine available here in Toronto. Not yet available in the United States, but he has been using it for the past two days. He swears by it. It says it has helped the healing process. And after watching him tonight, I'm not one to argue. Nick, give me you're, you're right. Uh, there was some people doubt that he could even play after that. You know what you have to have along with that machine? A big heart. And yeah. that's what this young man has. A high-tech medical tool is giving more Canadians access to a special therapy that athletes use to heal performance-threatening injuries. The treatment uses low-intensity lasers. The therapy has its critics, but as CTV's Avis Favreau reports, patient demand is pushing low-level lasers into the medical mainstream. Dr. Fred Kahn didn't believe in the healing powers of lasers until he had a shoulder injury that wouldn't go away. That's when he tried an experimental low-intensity laser. And five treatments, two and a half weeks later, my shoulder pain was gone. I was able to resume swimming, playing golf. Now he runs a laser therapy clinic that treats inflamed joints, bad backs, and chronic pain. My neck, I'm pain-free, and in, in this is, I believe, my fifth treatment. And the difference is absolutely enormous. Bonnie McDonald's knee pain was so bad, her doctor scheduled surgery for November. But she's cancelled it after nine treatments with the laser. I've never had a significant result where I've had the swelling reduction and, and color restoration. I, my, my knees were purple. People can attest to it. She had some really good ideas. You and know. Dr. Kahn's interest in lasers has grown uh, into a company uh, that, that manufactures his own design, industry. used by athletes like Mark McGuire and the Toronto Raptors. The bottom line is, do patients feel better? Can they resume normal activities? Uh, is their pain relieved? But skeptics will want to see the scientific proof. Desperate patients will just want to take the chance that lasers will mean less pain. Avis Favreau, CTV News, Toronto. From sports injuries to arthritis, all kinds of musculoskeletal problems are now treated with laser therapy. Professional athletes like the Toronto Raptors and Maple Leafs use low-intensity laser therapy to help them get back into the game. And now, armchair athletes can too. We visited the Meditech Laser Rehab Clinic to check it out. We utilize a low intensity laser, which in essence is a healing laser. We've been treating patients for approximately 10 years. Hi, Ken. How are you doing? Good. I, have, you? I have an appointment with Dr. Conn. Great. He'll be with you in just a minute. Great. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, it was an ex. Uh, Hockey player, uh, professional hockey player, and uh, it's just one of the old injuries uh, coming back on me and gradually gotten worse to the point where I have very little feeling in my arm. If you want to uh, just remove your shirt from me, and I'll get your light yeah. out. Thank you. Ken has fairly severe traumatic arthritis of the spine. He has only had, I believe, five treatments and has had about 70% of relief of his symptoms. Uh, no longer requires medication. So he demonstrated quite a rapid response, and I think he'll continue to do extremely well. Laser light stimulates the cells, in essence, to repair themselves. How much improvement have you made since the last treatment? First two, I really noticed a very big difference, and then after the third, I had a bit of a regression. So we'll make a minor protocol adjustment change today. I'm having pain um, treated in my back from a fracture that I had and um, it's left me with pain in my mid-back, particularly on one side, and I have a lot of scar tissue, and hoping that the laser will break some of that up. She has uh, quite severe degenerative osteoarthritis of the spine, which was also aggravated by an additional injury skiing, so she has a fair amount of uh, 
pain and discomfort. Other than surgery and uh, anti-inflammatory, there's really very limited therapy available. So this is where laser is so uh, applicable. Just go ahead and put that With my last treatments that I've had, as soon as I get up and go off the table, I do feel um, relief right away. Okay, Nancy, we're all finished. Okay. Thank you very much. The uh, okay. patient generally requires anywhere from 1 to 30 treatments, depending on the condition. Acute conditions generally respond much more quickly and are often resolved in 2 to 5 treatments, whereas chronic conditions take considerably longer. Gone, Good to see you. Robert, who came approximately eight months ago, utilized two very stout canes, moved extremely slowly, and never unaided, and was basically uh, immobile. The pain was so severe that I could not stand up and I could not even take a shower. I'd have to sit in a, on a plastic chair in order to uh, bathe. It, it really was oh, unbelievably unbelievably terrible. At a social gathering, I uh, met Dr. Khan. One thing led to another, and I ended up here getting the treatment. Now, I can stand in the shower, and uh, I even uh, uh, worked on a step ladder and put a um, drop ceiling in the uh, laundry room of our house, and there was no, absolutely no way whatsoever I could have ever done that. And my goodness gracious, uh, that's probably the best dinner I've ever gone to. Now Dr. Fred Kahn joins us to tell us more. Welcome. Laser is being used for almost everything now, from laser eye therapy to wrinkles to sports injuries. And when it comes to sports injuries, we've had mixed reviews in the past about laser. So tell us how the technology has changed and what we're now looking at. Uh, basically, uh, the engineering of the devices today has become much better. The device has become more sophisticated electronically and we've really been the leaders in that. There are about six different parameters that we can adjust to control the photon stream of particles that are used to irradiate the tissues and in essence heal the tissues. So it's become extremely sophisticated from an engineering point of view and also the application has become more uh, dramatically evolved. Now, in terms of the applications for this, we're looking at all types of musculoskeletal injuries. Is it good for fractures? What can you use this for and not use it for? You can use it for virtually any musculoskeletal problem, and all tissue consists of cells, so all cells respond. Mm -hmm. uh, bone tissue, of course, being more dense, responds less to the nerve tissue, which is quite sensitive to laser. But all tissue does respond to varying degrees. Now, we have all types of other modalities that we see the physiotherapists use, for example, things like TENS that now are being brought into home systems. Are we likely to see lasers that are used professionally being brought into home models that we'll be able to use on our own? We're working on a number of prototypes with regard to that, and uh, the one thing that laser therapy distinguishes itself from the other modalities, such as TENS, ultrasound, and differential care, it's curative. It heals the cells at the biomolecular level. Well, that's all great news. Thank you so much for sharing. This. We've discussed the cosmetic applications of laser therapy. Here to talk about the medical applications is Dr. Fred Kahn of the Meditech Laser Rehabilitation Clinic. Dr. Kahn has been involved with the development of laser technology in Canada. Welcome, and welcome to you, Matt. You work with Dr. Kahn? Yes, I do. So let's first talk about the medical applications. Where are you using laser in your practice? We use it primarily for musculoskeletal problems, but also wound healing, burns, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, when you're using this, the technology behind laser, we've just looked at laser for cosmetic and how it works on different wavelengths. Does this do the same type of thing? Uh, not dissimilar, mm -hmm. uh, but our wavelengths are more specific for the type of problems that we treat, which include everything from... Uh, spinal problems, uh, degenerative osteoarthritis, herniated discs, mm -hmm. uh, a variety of problems including spinal stenosis. So really you're the athlete's friend more than anything else. Well athletes, <laughs> uh, people with arthritis and uh, all the other uh, general musculoskeletal problems that we see such as carpal 
tunnel syndrome, rotator cuff injuries, tennis elbow, and so forth. It well, sounds like it's endless. Matt, you're standing in front of two different devices. What are these devices? Right. These, um, uh, Dr. Shapiro, aren't actually laser devices. They're super luminous diodes, so they're uh, high-intensity monochromatic light. They differ from laser in just that they, um, they don't... Um, they're not they're di they're divergent light sources, so they do spread out more. Mm -hmm. But um, when I when I apply this to actually, if I can borrow you for a moment. Okay, he's going to uh, borrow me. Should I let him do this, Doctor Khan? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> totally <laughs> safe. We'll give you, for example, you have carpal tunnel syndrome, and you were to come to our clinic, right? And just go rotate your um, arm over. Right. What I'm going to do is just fasten this around. You can see it's a large surface head with multiple rays on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to fasten around your wrist. Very common procedure. So it's just a device that I would wear around my wrist. And then exactly. what happens when you turn it on? Well, when I double click it to activate it, it would turn on a, a certain pulsation of light right. that we would prescribe into the, the system mm -hmm. for you. So different conditions require different, um, different customizations of the light right. output. So to get, depending on, on depth of penetration, on the amount of, um, amount of inflammation that comes with mm -hmm. it, so you can see, actually, I've changed the light output every 15 seconds. So now it's constant. Exactly. Dr. Khan, how many treatments would the average person need? I'm sure it depends on the severity of the injury, but your average carpal tunnel syndrome, let's say. The average carpal tunnel syndrome uh, would probably require about 8 to 10 treatments. And each of those treatments lasts how long? Uh, the treatment for carpal tunnel is usually about a half an hour. Now, I felt absolutely nothing. Is there ever any discomfort associated There's with this treatment? Sort of Never any real discomfort. Occasionally, people feel a slight degree of warmth, mm -hmm. but other than that, no particular problem. Now, now, is there ever a time where laser is not indicated, a time where you shouldn't be doing laser? Uh, the only contraindication that I'm aware of, contrary to what you may read in the literature mm -hmm. periodically, is the first trimester of pregnancy. And that's about it? That's about it. Well, thank you so much. New technology for common problems. Its use spans the NFL, the NBA, and it's trickling right on down to the high school ranks. It is called low-level laser therapy. And there are two high school athletes here in Tucson whose recoveries from serious knee injuries are nothing short of stunning. In the course of three years, medical technology has advanced another leap and another bound when it comes to sports medicine. Laser therapy is healing injuries at amazing speeds. Two South Point athletes can testify to that. JV basketball player Alex McAvoy and girl star Sybil Dosty. In the case of McAvoy, he broke a growth plate in his left knee. I was playing basketball at the YMCA and I, I jumped up and my knee just snapped. And um, I was in the hospital for four days after that. And they told me I wouldn't play basketball. I'd be done for the season. And I was in a cast for eight weeks and a leg brace. I was supposed to be in a leg brace for eight weeks, but I was only in it for two weeks. And I started rehab, and uh, with the laser, I mean, it just took me way ahead of schedule where I was supposed to be. Dosti ruptured an ACL, most recently in her right knee. She began the season wearing a brace, found laser therapy, and the brace is gone. And she was treated with the laser really very few times. I don't even think she received 10 treatments. And able to play without the brace, not having any problems. So she, her parents were thrilled, of course. Rudnick sees this kind of recovery all the time, but it still amazes him. The recovering time is, uh, is dramatically better, 50% better, or maybe even 70% better. And the results have been astonishing because it is a serious medical device as compared to a, a light that's kind of a toy. There is a day in the near future where laser therapy will be accepted at the college level. He knows one thing for sure when it comes to the Wildcat basketball team. Isaiah Fox could have been back on the court. I mean, I have no doubt. If Alex could have been on the court, Isaiah Fox could have been on the court. 